The problems that we have been studying, some of them mathematicians might never be able to solve. There are actually very simple questions for which the, ar the argument, whether the answer is yes or no, is extremely large. This for this problem, for example, that we solved, the argumentation for the answer is 200 terabytes in size. There's no way a mathematician would ever be able to compute it. I think it's very important for us that we can answer these questions and that we really want the answers, even if we don't understand them, because the problems are too important to go unanswered. Although his proof is too large to read or understand, Moraine explains how the answers given by this technique are still very useful in security and hardware applications, even if we can't understand how the answers were found. We have two systems, and one system we can prove that it's safe, although we have no understanding why it's safe, and we have another system for which we are unable to determine whether it's safe or not, we really want to use the first system because of its important property of safety. I use this uh, Pythagorean triples problem to kind of show what is possible with this technology because this has been a problem that has been open for decades. And I can show that uh, mathematicians looked at this problem, uh, they were not able to solve it, but now the computer was able to solve it and to solve the problem completely automatically. So this shows uh, the potential of this technology, which can also be applied to many industrial applications. The interesting thing about the size of the proof is not its size, but that we can actually, even if it's that large, we can check it and we can have very high confidence that the answer is correct. While many of his colleagues in computer science have focused on local reasoning techniques, Moraine and his associate have developed a different approach. One of the cool things that I've been doing with, uh, with Oliver Kuhlman is what we call global reasoning. If we have a very hard problem that which we want to solve, such as the Pythagorean triples problem, then we use our global reasoning techniques to split it into millions or even billions of sub-problems. This is the description of the problem. This is a file that contains how to split it into a million sub-problems. And for each of these smaller problems, I have a separate proof. What we are now seeing is one millionth of the actual proof of 200 uh, terabytes. We use local reasoning techniques to solve these sub-problems. And then we have a method of combining everything to get an answer for the original problem. I think that one discipline starts where another ends. Mathematics can do everything that we can do on pen and paper, and maybe computer science can be seen as the things that go beyond that. There are many interesting questions that mathematicians won't be able to solve because there is not enough paper in this world to actually solve them by pen and paper. The cool thing about this research and lots of other interesting computer science research is that we are able to solve questions for which mathematics will never be able to find answers. Find out more in The Science of Brute Force, a review article in the August 2017 Communications of the ACM.